here at the 2017 World Championships. Anthony Obami, Abdul Isofu, Gabon against Niger. Anthony Obami. 2013 world champion back in Mexico. Began training back in Gabon. An Air Force Club Taekwondo run by his father. And it is the newly bearded Obami. Getting some support there from friends and family. Made the trip out here to support him. Olympic silver medalist in London. Well, four years after London, Abdul Isufu took a silver in Rio. Well, Obama began Taekwondo at age six. Isufu began it at age five. The 23 year old coming into this one. Both of them Olympic Games silver medalists. Obami has won the world. Five years the senior of the fighter from Niger. Well, can he cap off his performances so far with his pace in the final? Obami, a big win against Radik Isayev, the Olympic champion from Rio. Abdul Yusufu. Three big wins for him. Can he make it four? Federico Zanetti. Full of focus. Obami strides in. Yusufu looking composed. He's got three or four inches in height. Advantage here, Isofu. Man from Niger in blue. The man from Gabon. He's the man in blue. Changes into that open stance. Trying to draw in the back leg of the fighter in red. Isofu. You can see the height difference there in the clinch. Obama taking the first gam, John. can't hold, you can push, as I said, open hands onto the chest to push to try and kick. And Obami just taking his time here. More than advisable, the front leg of Isofu. Top class. Grab one of the very few medals for Niger in Rio at the Olympic Games. Can he make a bit of history and get himself into a World Championship final? There's the back leg that we talked about, overreaching. That's the intention of Obama. Well, to give you some perspective, the fighter in blue from Gabon, Anthony Obama is six foot three. And he's a foot towering over him, especially when they get into the clinch. Hence why Obama is keeping it a long distance here. Big push from Isafu. Well, just that Gam John separating the two at the moment. Obama taking his time. There's the why, because the hook kick to the face. I say there is the reason why hook kicks him, cracks him in the jaw. And that flexibility. Abdul Isafu, the 23 year old All African Games champion. An Olympic silver medalist. Well, he's dumped to the mat there. That'll help. The man from Gabon with three seconds left. He's three points down. And he's going to keep it that way.
after that performance in Rio. It was a massive surprise for the entire division. Juan Antonio Ramos, double world champion, the coach in the corner. And this hook kick, let's have a look at the face here of Obame. Yeah, clean as you like. The timing from Isafu. Perfect. And the other semi final, it will be Mohamed Cho of Great Britain against Roman Kuznetsov of Russia. And who's going to lay a marker down and put themselves in the final here? Well, conducted in Spanish there, Obame, a man of many languages. Saying, Juan Antonio Ramirez saying the, the gap is nothing, you can do this. Get out there and enjoy it. Big fake there from Obami. Isafu, far more composed, stands tall. And that level of patience is a back leg turning kick. From Isafu. Got the three point gap. Obami having a big look at the head there of the man from Niger, Abdul Isafu. Can he find a big headshot? It would be a three point kick if he can. Having a good look at it. Let's have a good look at the foot there of Isafu. Always be strong, always be strong. The advice from Ramos in the corner. And it's a big strong kick from Isafu in response though. To bridge that distance gap, especially as the man from Niger, Abdel Isafu stands tall. There was a back kick from Obami. A headshot too from Isafu. Four point gap, 40 seconds left in this. This is the heavyweight men. They love to save up their energy. But when they let go with full power, well, look out. Both men have that knockout power. Weighing in excess of 110 kilos. Around 16 stone. So a lot of power in the legs. Plenty of flexibility as well. Last 10 seconds. Isafu's had a couple of headshots that have really helped him. Obame found the back kick. Tries the back leg, gets the two pointer, misses a headshot of his own. That well, was a handy lead for Abdul Isafu. It's cut to two. Well, that was the back kick from Obami. Followed by that push on the way through. And the coach applauding the back kick and then seeing the headshot scoring as well. Contrasting fortunes. Isafu leads by two. the first of two semi-finals in the heavyweight division. Not much separating the two of them. A slight margin, a little cushion of two points. But you can never be comfortable against Obami. He will not let you relax, he's got that intimidating style. Tries to get close. A very serious knee surgery after the Olympic Games. Back in full health though, and back to a healthy lead as Isufu, standing tall, and stretching his score. Good work from Obami, trying to bemuse and confuse. Not working on Isufu. 
He's looking really resolute here, picking up that front leg. Good tactics from the man from Niger. Abdel Isafu looking good at the moment. Four point gap. And refusing to give any distance at all. There's that front leg. Who can kick again? Chop kick from Obami. It's a good counter there from Isafu, and that will give him yet more breathing space. Change of stance. Does, as does Obami. They change back again. A real tactical battle here. The strategy from Isafu has worked well. Obami up against it. Is the Olympic champion going to be vested here? World champion in 2013. Big push. Both men. Well, there's the headshot. Getting closer now. Good counter on the way through. Obami throwing caution to the wind, throwing the legs upstairs to the head. 20 seconds left. He's going to take the gam, John, here. Abdul Isafu. Three point gap. Can Obami find the back kick? Can he find the headshot? He finds himself up against the long legs of the man from Niger. Good flick to the body. Gam John for holding onto the leg. Four point gap, 10 seconds. Abdul Isafu makes it an even bigger gap. Excellent counter to the body. Well, he scored when he needed it. Six seconds left. Good spin there. And it's an excellent way to finish. Abdul Isafu. Big win. Salutes Anthony Obami. Lovely show of respect between the two. They embrace, but it will be the chance to grab the medal. Will it be gold or silver? Anthony Obama, he's going to take bronze. The last prayers in victory there. I'm sure there'll be a few more said before the final. Abdul Isafu in with a shout of gold here. Did he perform well? Tactically perfect. Spiked the guns of Obami. Isafu with that hook kick there. That's what made the difference. Headshots when he needed them. It will be Abdul Isafu. Takes the knee. And will he take a spot in the final? Certainly will. Who's going to join him? In the heavyweight contest here, Great Britain's Mohamed Cho or Roman Kuznetsov. Confirmation there. In the end, a handy gap.